What's up guys? Uh, getting back a bit late today. And I hung out with my girlfriend, friends. Had a good time. Ate a good dinner, good meal. Um, I don't really know what this talk. I don't really have a title for this subject that I want to talk about, but I've been looking at success lately and people that have made it, that are making it, they have a circle, a group of people that are making it, um, and then I look at the world, the, the reality that I'm in, and God, man, to be honest, like, every day that passes, day in and day out, it's fucking tough, dude. It's tough to keep your, to keep like that spirit, to keep that fire when you're around people that you just feel dragging you down when you're around negativity. When you go through your day and you don't know how it's going to end up or, or always what to put your energy into, uh, it's tough. When you don't have a very vivid end goal. Um, that you can just chip away at, you know, you, that stone where you can just chip away. And it's, it is about finding that, finding a passion, finding something to chip away at. What do we want out of this life? I think it was Nietzsche who said, if there is no meaning, then we create meaning. We create purpose. And it's very tough, man. It's tough when you don't have a huge circle of people supporting you, building you up, when you're not around people that you can laugh with, that you can love with, that you can eat with, that you can tell stories with and gather around. It's tough, man. It's tough to go through the days and not see, to be around, you know, the same shit in the same town, uh, the same worries day in and day out on your mind, you know, the same this and that, worrying about bills, worrying about illness, worrying about your health, worrying about your children, what you're going to eat, what you're going to make, how you're going to make it, what you're going to do, what you're going to put your energy to, getting up, you know, I want to be, I want to be at a place where I'm tap dancing to work, or it's not, because I know like looking to the future, fuck, you know, I gotta get up tomorrow. I gotta get up later. I gotta go back on the grind. And they say you fall in love with the grind, you fall in love with it. It's true, but I want the grind to be on a path. I want to be grinding down the path, putting energy into something. And I think for a lot of us, even myself, it's very hazy. It's very vague. I don't always have such a solid end goal. And as it becomes stronger, as I empower myself through books, through mentors, through videos, through audiobooks, learning more about success, about people who have done it, um, I feel empowered. I feel powerful. I learn about health. I feel my health rising. I feel the energy rising. Right? I feel like I am becoming the opportunity to be, uh, and I, I want to keep that growing. I, when I stall, I can feel myself stall, and it just sinks me more into those sinking sands of worry, more into the uncertainty and the worries of the day, the worries that the day brings. So I believe that it takes courage, massive courage, to take the first steps even when you don't know exactly where the end is, but you feel something inside of you that's clawing at you, that's gnawing at your insides to come out, to be put into fruitation. So that something that wants to come out, right, and you're harnessing it in you, and a lot of times we don't let it out because of fear, because of resistance that we fight in here, because of worry. What is the fear, though, of fail, right? In the end, we're all going to die. What is the fear of starting something new? What is the fear of picking up that book, of talking to that girl, of going to that gym, of taking that new class? 
of learning something new, of empowering yourself, of getting off that couch, of putting down this addiction, of getting rid of that foolishness. What is the fear? What is the resistance that we fight with day in and day out? And I've experienced this myself every fucking day of my life, man. And it comes in here where I tell myself, that's it. I have to take a step. I have to be bold. I have to move. Because the object of a man, the, the objective, the mission, the power of a man is to move. We, I have energy, man. I wanna. I've said it before. I, I wanna sail the seas like they did in the oldest. I wanna hunt because, just because I can, right? I wanna conquer because I can. Because I can get up every morning with this young, healthy body that I've been blessed with. That I have. I don't want to waste my days. I don't want to prolong my days. I want to use my time. Jack London, he says something like, I don't want to be a huge planet in the sky, but I want to be in a shooting star in magnificent glow. Every part of me burning on fire. I shall not use my time in trying to prolong my days. I shall use my time in living. He says something along those lines, but in living, right? To live a life worth living. And that takes boldness. That takes the warrior spirit. That takes us getting up and saying, I'm going to begin. I'm going to start because I can. Because it's in me. And it wants to come out. There is something in me that is telling me to move. To not waste my time on this planet. But to burn to let it come forth, to give my gift, to share and to love. And I will leave you guys with this. This is something I've been wanting to share with you. I came across this a few days ago. This is a book that I got from the thrift store. And I read this quote at the very end and I just kind of glimpsed it. And then I came across it again in another book and I I just want to share with you guys. It says, and this is from one of um, one of Goat's couplets, I believe. Let me find it. It so, it says this: Whatever you can do or dream, you can begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Begin it now. Begin it now, guys. The first step. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. See you guys soon.